What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Nash here. Welcome back to the channel. Now, before now before we get started with today's video, the road to 200 subs has now come to a close, and we are now on the road to 500 subs. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe maybe we might hit five, 500 subs by the end of the summer. Only time will tell. But as I have said in previous videos, if this channel does get to 500 subs. I will open up this Korean LOB booster box in its entirety on the channel that I got from my partners over at, at Collector Store. So be sure to check them out. Link and address will be in the description below. By checking them out, not only does it support them, it also supports the channel and I would greatly appreciate it. On the hopes to potentially pull a Blue Eyes White Dragon, a, a, dark, a dark Magician, a Red Eyes Black Dragon, a Piece of Exodia, Monster Reborn, Pot of Greed, the possibilities are out there. However, if this channel gets to a thousand subs, I will open up this first edition Toon Chaos box in its entirety on the channel that I also got from my partners over at Collector Store on the hopes to potentially pull a Collector's Rare out of the set, much similar to what I pulled out of my Genesis Impact box that I opened up last year, which is this beautiful Beat Cop from the Underworld. This thing looks absolutely beautiful as a Collector's Rare. But with that being said, if you guys want to see those boxes get opened, maybe you guys want more episodes of WWE's Biggest Issue. Maybe you guys want more episodes of, of Yu-Gi-Oh!'s Biggest Issue, deck profiles, card discussions, WWE topic videos, or maybe just maybe you guys want some premium live event predictions and results. Well, if you guys want all of that and more, my channel is the place to be, so if you guys are new to the channel, and I know that a lot of you guys are, because more than 80% of you guys are watching the content, but you guys aren't even, aren't even subscribed, and, and, to top it all off, we gotta get more women to watch the content as well. So if you guys are watching the content, you like the content, and you want more of the content, but you guys have not, have, have have not subscribed as of yet, then make sure you guys do indeed subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, smash that thumbs up button on this video, and as always, make sure you guys are following me on all of my social media, all of my ads will be in the description below, as will the info to my fan mail, it will also be in the description as well. And I want you guys to post in the comments below answering the question of the day, which is this, which deck what deck would you guys like, would you consider to be the most overrated deck in the game's history? Let me know down in the comments below. And for today's video, we have not one, not two, not three, but ten cards. We have ten cards to talk about in Infinite Forbidden, which I believe will be the last... <clears throat> which I believe will be the last ten cards to that, that will be in, that I'll be talking about in the set... Until until the TCG release and we get the TCG exclusives and the OCG imports. So, so hopefully, hopefully, uh, hopefully all of the imports and the TCG ex TCG exclusive cards become uh, become uh, actually pretty good. Who knows? Or maybe. Maybe they'll just be way, be be gimmicky to the point where they end up being good. Who the hell knows? But I'm not. But I'm not gonna waste any time. I'm just gonna get straight into it. Kicking things off, we have um, <clears throat> we have a broom. <laughs> I'm I'm like I'm not capping. I am not capping. We have a broom for a fucking monster card. I don't know who the fuck came up came up with the idea to turn a broom like like a sweeping broom like a broom into a fucking monster but whoever did they they got some weird ass imaginations but the name of the card is called Broomy Yeah it's called Broomy and it's a get this two star light spellcaster tuner with 700 attack and defense, and the effect and the effect is, is a once per turn, but it cannot be used as as material for the synchro summon. Actually, it cannot be it can't be you can't be used as synchro material except for 
for the Synchro Summon of a level 8 or lower monster. And the effect reads, you can reveal this card to one other monster in your hand. You can't also... Excuse me. You can't, you can't special summon from the extra deck, nor declare attacks with monsters for, for the rest of the turn except for Synchros. And special summon one of the revealed monsters and banish the other. I don't think I need to say anything else about this card. I, I just don't think I need to. So, I'm going to move on. But the, old, but, but the one thing I will say is this. Um, it's pretty gimmicky. I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong. Yes, it is. It is a pretty funny way to to bring out um, to bring out Ally of Justice Catastrophe if you're if you're running, you know that, you know those type, type, you know type of decks. But but for the most part, it's a bit too gimmicky in, in my honest opinion. But next up we have Men, we have Menko Rome Menko Mori. Which is a weird ass bat. But it is a one star earth winged beast tuner. With zero attack and defense. And both. And it has two separate effects. The first one reads up to thrice per turn. If if your opponent. If, if your opponent's normal or special summon the monster. You can target one of them. Toss a coin. And if, it, and if it's heads. Change that monster to face up attack position. If it's tails. Change it face down. So ideally, it's basically Book of Taiyu slash Book of Moon. With a bit of a uh, with uh, with a bit of a with a little bit of luck mixed in with it. Uh, second effect reads: Once per turn, if a monster is flipped face up or face down, if it, if a monster is flipped face up or a face up monster is changed to face down face down defense. While this monster is on the field, even during the damage stab, you can target one of them, change it to face up attack or face down defense. So literally, you can just literally just like book a Taiyu, a fucking morphing jar, or book a moon, a you know a a board you know a board load savage dragon or, or or something like that, which is pretty, which is pretty cool. But again, it's a big gimmicky in my honest opinion. But Next up, but moving on, next up we have, we have Maya, no, or, or sorry, we have May Malightbird. I believe is how it's pronounced. And this is card number three, I believe. Yeah, this is card, card number three. And it is a two-star light beast with with a measly hundred attack and defense, and it has not one, not two, not three, but four effects. The first one reads: If this card is the only card in your hand, you can special summon it. Second effect reads: If this card is special summoned by its first effect, its attack becomes twenty-five hundred until the end of your opponent's turn. Third effect reads, if this card battles an opponent's monster, you take any battle damage they, they would have taken instead. Fourth effect reads, if you take damage from a battle involving this card, change its attack to zero. Then, if you have 2,000 or, or, or more life points, or sorry, or less life points, its attack becomes 5,000. Yeah. Um... <laughs> This is basically the definition of a card being way too gimmicky. Um, I will say though, um, the Cyber Dragon effect is pretty unique. But the only thing, the, the only thing about about this card is that you have to take a fuck ton of damage just to get this card to five thousand, which is uh, which is a bit uh, frustrating, if you will, but. That's just how it is, you guys. That's just how it is. But next up, we have Trap Gather. Which is an equipped spell. 
and it has three separate effects, which the in which the the second and third ones are 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 once per turn. And the first effect reads: the equipped monster gains 400 attack for each trap in your grave. All right. I mean, it's not bad. Not bad. Perfect for the for for what for what chain for what like chain burn and what and for what what trap monster decks i i think it's not bad not bad i think also paleo paleo frog if uh if uh ronin if if ronin ever comes off come come comes off the ban list which i highly doubt but you never know you never know uh second effect reads after damage cow when the equipped monster destroys an opponent's monster by battle or inflicts battle damage to them you can send this card to the grave, set one trap from from your grave. Third effect reads, if you face a trap you, you control would be destroyed by a card effect, you can manage the card from card you control instead. So this is pretty cool. This is actually pretty cool. It's a way it's a way to to what the hell is on my lip? There we go. Anyway, anyway, it's a anyway it, it's a good it, it's a great way to bring back to bring to bring back uh Bring back uh, flood uh, floodgates. Um, it's a good way to bring back uh, to bring back uh, battle traps as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, even also cards like uh, cards like uh, mirror force, cards like infinite uh, cards like imperm, evenly matched. There's a lot of good trap cards that people that are are still played to this day. That this card can bring back so this is a this is gonna be a bit of a weird so i feel like i feel like trap monsters decks are, pro are probably are probably gonna be one of the main main like decks deck archetypes if you will that that this card is definitely is definitely going to be ab abusing so it's gonna be in interesting but but you never know but next up we have interdimensional matter translocator We've heard of Transporter, now we have Translocator. And it's a continuous spell, and all three of its effects are once per turn. The first effect reads... Hang on, guys. What is... Anyway. Anyway, the first effect reads... You can target one monster on the field. What is going on with this fucking laptop? You know what? Hang on, guys. I'm gonna switch switch to the iPhone because I can read the effects better. Oh, now it decides to leave. Okay. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. I apologize. There was some con some weird content that covered up co that covered up what, what I was reading. Anyway, anyway, the first effect reads reads you you can target one monster on the field, banish it, then return it to to the field. Second effect. Second effect reads: If you, if if your opponent activates a card effect, you can target a face of monster whose effects effects are negated, banish it, then return it to the field. Third effect reads: Before resolving an, an opponent's card effect that targets this, this face of card, banish this card. So this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. This is basically tran, tran, transporter on steroids, which is actually is pretty insane. So not so not only can you banish banish your banish cards from your opponent's board, but if but if this card were to be were to be targeted, you know, like say like perhaps say a say MST or something like that, this card literally can ban it can banish can banish itself and I guess bring it back, I guess, which is pretty which is pretty cool, yeah, yeah. Let's say uh, that targets that targets this face of card ban banishes this card un until the end phase of the next turn. Yeah, so basically it it's a way to to do ban to banish the card and out and out and basically basically outrun cards like cards like cards like MST cards like Lightning Storm Harpy's Feather Duster. Tornado Dragon and just pretty much like pretty much like any any and all like back row back row removal cards, this card can just bypass them simply by just banishing itself. 
this card is going to be a nasty one to be used in today's meta. But, but we will have to wait and see. But next up, we have we have BBS B back sight. Which is a continuous spell, and the and it has three separate effects. The first one reads reads each each time the effect of a card other than this card is activated, you can place one ac access counter on this card max ten. Second effect reads monsters on your field gain 100 attack for each access counter on this card. Third effect reads reads if an access Access counter is placed on this card and the number of counters reaches 10 you can return this card to the hand and if you do set one continuous trap directly from your deck that has an effect that special summons itself as a monster also says also the card set by this effect can be activated in the same turn it was set so so cards like um so again so again so again just like with the um with uh with trap with with the equip spell trap gather this card works with bait with basically tra with basically monster trap based decks cards like embodiment of of apophis cards like tiki curse tiki soul those are monster th those are trap monsters this card is going to be a bit of an in interesting one and i can totally see trap trap monster decks being the new meta is it possible 100%. It is 100% possible. And uh all I can say is get ready cuz it's going to be one hell of a uh one hell of a weird format once this set gets released. But next up Next up we have we have Top Hat Hair the silhou the silhouette magician. Which is a light illusion link to with 1500 attack and its arrows are bottom left, bottom right, and it requires two effect monsters. And the first and third effects are both once per turn. The first effect reads, if this card is, is linked summon, you can set one continuous trap directly from your deck that has an effect that special summons, summons itself as a monster. Also, this, this card cannot be used as link material this turn. Second effect reads, if this card battles a monster, neither can be destroyed by that battle. Third effect reads, if, if a card in, in the back row is special summoned to a is special summoned to, to the monster zone, you can target a spell or trap your, your opponent controls, destroy it. Again, trap monster decks are going to be the deck that people are gonna want to play. Why? Because of cards like this. It's actually kind of funny, but I don't I don't really know if it's if, if it's gonna be that good because because of the fact that there are certain there are certain trap monsters that can only work with certain archetypes. Like when when you look at um when you look at metal reflex sign, it only works with with the with the Egyptian god deck. So so, so the idea for that deck is to activate metal metal reflex sign, special summon it in defense, and then, and then, and then ditch it ditch it to the graveyard to summon Egyptian God Slime, and then and then use God Slime to go into any of the three, to any of go into any any, any of, of the three gods, which could be Obelisk Slifer. Or the Wing Dragon of Raw, but most like, but mostly, it'll most likely be Obelisk and Slifer. They're gonna be the main two you're gonna want to summon. But of course, but of course, with Raw, if you choose to summon Raw, its attack becomes zero. So that's a bit of a down downside, but still, but still. Anyway, next up, next up, we have Silu Sil Silu Hat. I believe is how it's pronounced. And and it's a continuous spell, and the effect and the effect is is a once per turn that reads special summon this card as an effect monster, which which is a four star dark illusion, 
1500 attack, 600 defense with these with these effects. Also, it is still a trap. If if let's see, if it is special summon, you can target a face-up card your opponent controls up to the up to the number of illusion monsters you control, negate their effects until until the end of the turn. If if this card battles a monster, neither can be destroyed by that battle. So basically, basically this is dark. This trap monster is basically dark ruler no more. That's pretty much. That's pretty much all there is to it. It's basically that. It's dark. It's dark. It's sort of like Dark Ruler, or I, actually, you know what? No, 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 no. It's actually uh, not, not, not Dark Ruler. <sighs> what's the other one I'm thinking? Uh, Forbidden Droplet. For Forbidden Droplet. That, that's what it is. This card is basically Forbidden Droplet. So, not much else to say about that. But now we got to talk about the last two cards in today's in today's video, which is actually some brand new Centurion support. And the first one is called is called Centurion Dragon Knight, I, I believe is the name. Hang on, guys. Let me... This is weird. Come on. Thank you. Alright, so the first one, so so first up we have Centurion Atri, which I believe the kanji for Atri is uh, Dragon Knight. So, here's the card. And, and, and it's a 4 star Dark Dragon Tuner with 1800 attack, 1400 defense, and the first and third effects are both once per turn. And the first effect reads, reads if if this card is normal, normal or special summon, you can have an an emblema card and a centurion card in your grave. You can draw one card. Also, you cannot special summon monster. You cannot special summon this card for the rest of the turn. Second effect reads if if this card you control would be used as single material, it can be treated as a non tuner. Excuse me. During the main phase, if this card is a continuous trap, you can special summon it. Alright, I mean, I mean, I mean, to be fair, to be fair, being able to use a tuner as a non-tuner is pretty cool. Kind of, kind of, kind of like how with, 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 with the Harpy deck, deck, you can literally just use, use any two, any two Harpy monsters and you can and you can use them as single material for a for uh for cyber slash harpy lady even though neither of the two are tuner monsters which is pretty cool so this this card is ba is basically similar to that but centurion ha actually has done quite a ha has done quite well quite well over the last year or so so that's pretty cool but now the last card to talk about in today's video it is known as em Emblema and and Atonement. Yeah, yeah, Emblema and Atonement, which is a which is a quick play spell, and it has two separate effects. The first one reads: Banish one face-up Centurion monster from your spell and trap zone. Target a card your opponent controls and banish it. Second effect reads: If this card, if this set card is destroyed or banished by an opponent's activated card effect, you can place two, two Centurion monsters with different names from your hand, deck, or grave, or banishment face up in, in your back row as continuous traps. Honestly, that's pretty cool. That that's pretty cool. Funny enough, since, uh, and um, as I said before, Centurion had had has done pretty well over the last year but we're still we're still missing some some more some more cards for for the for the archetype so it'll be interesting to see to see whether or not whether or not we get those get get the new cards like 
Perhaps maybe maybe a couple of Link monsters, maybe a new Xyz monster or something like that. Maybe even even its own floodgate or something like that. And maybe the deck would still you know would still function as, as it does normally now. Only time will tell. But with that being said, that will do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. If you guys are new to the channel, I guess want more card discussions in the future then make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, and follow me on all of my social media. All of my ads will be in the description below, as will the info to my fan mail. It will also be in the description as well. And on that, this is your boy Nash, signing out.